What's happening, Night Riders? So, we're back again for some more Ruby, Volume 6. This is Episode 4, So That's How It Is. Man, listen. Let's talk about last episode for a second. Last episode <laughs> was a fucking episode. Like, we got so many answers. We learned the connection between Salem and Ozpin. We know why Salem wants to kill Ozpin so badly or why she don't like him so badly. We found out Salem's entire backstory. We found out um, Oz, pretty much Ozpin's entire backstory. Maybe not entire, but a majority of his backstory. We found out uh, how the moon is fucking broken, which I did not see coming. Um, like I said in the last video, and I'm going to say it again. <laughs> I was caught up in the moment of Salem and Ozpin having an entire family because to an extent I had a feeling that maybe they had a relationship but for them to get married and have kids did not see coming um, so when I saw that they had four little girls I immediately thought of the four maidens and I was like holy shit is that them but no it's not he created the four maidens later on in one of his past lives um oh and we also learned about the relics and like you know their importance and because of their importance you kind of put together why salem wants the relics so basically you you need the relics in order to bring back the god of darkness and the god of light my guess is that she wants to bring him back to either show them that the world hasn't changed or she wants revenge on them. Which makes sense because they literally brought back and killed Ozpin like two or three times right in front of her. <laughs> but at the same time, like, she was fucked up. So, let's jump into episode four and, um... Uh... Damn, I just had a brain fart. Let's jump into episode four and basically learn Team Ruby's reaction to all of this. Because, I mean, you saw everyone was a little shocked and surprised, but you don't really know how everyone is taking the news. So let's jump in and find out how everybody takes this. Let's go, you guys. I really like this intro. Like, I'm not gonna lie, all the intros grew on me after a while. It's gonna be very, very hard to put them in order of how much I like them. I don't think I'd be able to do it even if I tried because I like all of them. Um, but one thing I have learned is that all these intros foreshadow something. So this intro makes me a little nervous with all the grim arms coming out and attacking Crow and uh, Ruby. I think it's also kind of dope and kind of cool that we saw different lives of Ozpin. I mean, we didn't see his lives fully, but we, you know, we basically saw some of the lives that he lived and how many lives he lived. And the fact that Salem is truly immortal is scary. <laughs> Salem. I don't have one. 
Wow. Oh shit. No one wanted me. I was cursed. I gave my life to you because you gave me a place in this world. I thought I was finally doing some good. But you are needing you. It's the worst luck of my life. Oh shit. You're right. What happened? He's gone. That bastard! Tell him we're not done yet! No, this is different. He's gone. It, it's like he's locked himself deep inside my head. Our head? I hate this. I want it to stop. He just left us? What are we going to do Holy now? Holy shit. Enough! We need to get a move on. It'll be dark before we know it, and every one of you is spewing negativity. She's right. There's a trail over there. Trails usually lead somewhere. Lady, I don't know who you think you are, but no buts. I understand that you're upset. Honestly, I'm still coming to terms with the fact that this is humanity's second time around. Yo, for but real. <laughs> if we don't move, we die. And I'll be damned if I've lived this long just to die out here in the cold. She's right. She's right. Come on. Damn. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why I found that to be funny. Another one of his lives, aren't I? Of course not. You're your own person. Don't lie to him, Ruby. We're better than that. Damn. Damn. Fuck. Damn. I don't even know what to say about that. Because, in a sense, they're both kind of right like he is still his own person but at the same time that destiny is still gonna call to him so to speak fuck this whole situation is so fucked up oh i was wondering when we were gonna see them Oh, this is their welcome first time back, back, back without Cinder, so they gotta. I do hope you missed us as much as we missed you. Let's go. Ooh, they gotta tell Salem they failed. Oh, that's not gonna go over Speaking good. Speaking of which, where is our fall maiden? <laughs> Emeralds, come on. Don't tell me something happened to her. <laughs> <laughs> I will cut off more than just your tail. <laughs> Careful, little girl. He is so Cinder fucking crazy. Is here to protect you anymore. <gasps> Did he just cut his cheek? Wow. Understand, I am in mourning just as you, because it appears you failed our queen, and that is a tragedy. <laughs> Yo, he's so crazy that I kind of like it. It's so fucking creepy. <laughs> That's right, last time you saw her, she didn't have all that. Oh my gosh, she's gotten so much more creepier. I forgot about that. I would that. like you to explain to me how it is you failed so spectacularly. The Fauna's militia split our forces. Stop.
Let me rephrase the question. Who is responsible for your defeat? Hmm. I take full responsibility. But that wouldn't be fair now, would it? We all know who's truly to blame. I don't. Holy shit. Petrified. Now, she can't even Cinder. look at her. We failed because of Cinder. That's right. I want you to understand that failure. I want you to understand why Cinder must be left to toil in her isolation until she redeems herself. Not to lose sight of what drives <laughs> us. Love, justice, reverence. But the moment you put your desires before my own, they will be lost to you. Shh, speechless. This isn't a threat. This is simply the truth. The path to your desires is only found through me. Holy shit. And so we must press on. The sword under Vacuo's academy, Shade. Ma'am. I have more to report. <laughs> Grow and the children are taking the lamp to Atlas. <laughs> Not if I can help it. And they're being led by Bob's spirit. I know, Kitty, I know. Oh shit. That is a scary, powerful, immortal being. What the fuck? It doesn't look like this is gonna let up. I just want to get this stupid relic to Atlas. Let's hope we don't have to walk all the way there. I thought trails led somewhere. Do you have nothing better to do than to harass a defenseless <laughs> old lady? Everyone quiet! Hear that? Sounds like a rusty old sign swinging. Or a rusty old gate. Well, at least one good thing happened today. 
It looks abandoned. Still better than this. Come on. True. I think we could all use some rest. Yo. Yo. Man, oh man. Okay, so I mean, I had a feeling that they were going to be mad, but holy shit. And I mean, like, I get it because, like, he held so much from them that they needed to know. Because I don't think that they knew that she was immortal. Oh, this is only like 13 minutes? Alright, I can stop it. Yeah, so I don't think, yeah, I don't think that they knew that she was immortal. Like, they knew of Salem, and they knew that she was powerful, and she was, like, got all these bad guys on her side or whatever. But, yeah, they didn't know that she was immortal. That was something that I agreed that they needed to know. Um... Holy shit. Um, there's a part of me that actually kind of likes that they're showing the main reason. Not, I won't say the main reason, but that they're showing the reason why everybody's so afraid of her, so afraid of Salem. Because, yeah, you know, based on the backstory, you knew that she is immortal. You knew that she is pure magic. Like, she has magic. Um, but, like, in this episode alone, this episode alone made you realize, like, holy shit, she is really powerful. She's of all... I won't say all powerful, but she's a very powerful immortal being. Like, with magic. Aspen, I mean, yeah, he's he knows that he has to defeat her. But he doesn't know how. Especially like you asked you use the relic to gain to ask a question. You basically asked how can you defeat Salem and this being who has all of the fucking knowledge tells you that you can't that she can't be defeated yeah you don't really have a plan holy shit so right now at this point it's pretty much just keeping the relics out of her hands and you know they've had luck on their side that she hasn't come after them directly you know, she's been sending her minions to do so. Um, it also makes me fully realize why Cinder didn't reach out to any of her teammates to say that she was still alive. Because I feel like deep down she knew that Salem would blame her. And I don't think Salem would kill her, but Salem would definitely torment and punish her. That's what I think. Because if you fuck around and kill her, um, the fall maiden powers goes to someone else. And she don't want that. So. Oh boy, oh boy. This is crazy. This is absolutely batshit crazy. I'm seeing everyone's reaction left me speechless because I understand it. I understood it. Because I would have been, like, if I was in their situation, I would have been like, Yang, I would have been fuming. Like, we all said no more secrets, but you held 
history's worth of secrets that they needed to know. That's crazy. And now Ospin is just like, he buried himself in the back of um, Oscar's mind. And, oh man, this ain't gonna be good. Ain't gonna be good at all. But, um, my writers, post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of <coughs> uh, episode four of volume six entitled So That's How It Is. Um, I even understand Crow's anger. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, yeah, so now, right, let's post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of episode four of volume six. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Keep it spoiler free, of course, for the next episode, because I know plenty of you guys have already seen it, but I won't be seeing it until next week. So please keep it spoiler free for me. Um, which you guys have been doing an amazing job. Please, like, I don't want to make it seem like you guys haven't. You guys have been doing an amazing job. Um, but yeah, I look forward to episode five. Can't wait. I heard episode five is a good episode. <clears throat> I heard it's a really good episode, so I look forward to it. We're only four episodes in, and this shit is already batshit crazy. Like, my mind is still blown from the previous episode, and this one just... This one left me almost as speechless as the last, so this volume is incredible. Incredible. So anyway, you guys, uh, I look forward to seeing what you have to say. Hopefully you enjoyed my reaction, and until next time, ride or die, night riders. We out.